Hello again, YouTube. We're uh, down in Crowley, Louisiana. And uh, got a call from this particular railroad. <clears throat> Said their machine's having some can problems. And uh, this may wind up being, if you've watched any of my last videos, may wind up being exactly like the last one I posted. But I never assume anything. I'd like to check it out and see what we get. So hopefully this turns out to be a pretty good video. But only time will tell. So we're in a, other than main track, got a little derail down here. Protect us. That flag fell down. I'll go stand it back up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check this machine out and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. Stick around, it's gonna be a good video. So, um, this is definitely different from the last one. We have a lot of problems in this one. We even have some problems with corrosion. Um, if I come up here and look at my fault screen, I have a lot of different faults. Um, wing extension, rear template, and basically the whole left wing. Um, power sensors and all the modules. Now these modules are for sure, I know what's wrong with them. They're not getting any power because the can is open between some of these circuits here and they feed the can circuit out to these modules. So these are gonna show faults until we get that. But we have like on my right wing, we'll go up and down and pivot. And this front door will open and close but my extension and my rear door will not open. And then my left wing will go up and down, will not pivot. And none of the other functions on that wing work. So that tells me where my problem basically is. <clears throat> Give me a moment. I come down here and I see my, my wing valve bank. If you watched the last video, you'll recognize some of this. So your right wing up and down, that's working. But now that is also on its own separate input right there on the first one. So then the can should shoot from right hand wing pivot to right hand wing in and out. Now that is not working, but this is. So this may have a different issue because somehow this is not working, but this is, and then this is not working as well. And then the can skips this one because it has its own input and it jumps to this wing pivot. And then all the rest of these are also not working. This machine is not equipped. So one of the first things I was gonna do was unplug this connector wire that runs from the last valve over to this module. And uh, when we unplugged it, one of the pins came out. As you can see, it's a little corrosion down here. And it's not helping that it's raining today. You can see there's a little corrosion down there. And that one pin is oh, yeah. broken in half, actually. It's hollow now. So, that's part of our problem. But we know we have other problems somewhere further down the line. So we're going to look for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last one that I know is working. And I'm going to jump wire from it to further down the line and take some of these coils out of, out of the equation to see what is and what isn't working. And we'll just basically make one thing work at a time until we know what is and what isn't working. All right, so. Yeah, so essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug uh, this wire and move this wire into here and test this one individual function. And then I'll just move my way down the line with that one wire until we see exactly what is and what is not working. Okay. And these? Okay, so I have, let's see if I can see, I have this wire here plugged into this side. That goes to this one. He tries it, nothing happens. But I'm going to take this same wire. I'm going to bolt it. If I take it and flip it from here, plug it in on this side. This is the front wing. Both of these sides work. And this is the wing extension. And I 
gotta get this side off to see if it works on this side. This side is definitely dead. So that's what we're working with so far. I've at least got one, potentially two, bad coils. And, well, three, because that one has corrosion in it. So three bad coils. And as far as I know, that... And then potentially this wire as well from here going over to this one. Okay, over there. So that's what I've got so far. Thanks. The next day, we, uh, we're working on the last one now. These are the what the coils look like on these. One of the seals is laying right here because it's stuck to the valve bank itself. But this is our Danfoss coils. You got your two connectors. You can see where that one has that rusted pin. That's what's messed up on this one. This is what the inside of them looks like. Four bolts hold them in. It's got this little green LED that lights up whenever it's energized. So yeah, once we get that hooked up, we'll get all these wires plugged back in like it's supposed to be, and we'll test it out. All right, get in and out of the rain. So yeah, we uh, got all that hooked up, and where we did have all these, let's see, where's it at? PVG faults. Where we did have all these faults before, I don't know if I reported it, and I don't think I did. Where we did have all these faults before, uh, they're gone now. I think we even had some, I think they were all here. Maybe we had some in here and here. Yeah, we had some here and we had some here. These faults are all gone. The ones that are showing now, sensor power and AC cooler PSI sensor, those actually don't belong on this machine. This machine was made before that. I think somebody updated the modules and didn't bother to turn that off so i'm gonna hook my plus one to it and see if i can turn it off or not i don't know if i can but we're gonna find out it is uh still pouring rain out here so i hopped back in the truck to finish this video off the uh the program wasn't alterable for that uh, so we couldn't do anything about that what it is those first few that we made didn't have all those options but we used the same program on all the machines. Um, I brought it to the engineer's attention that we should create a different program for those first five. So they don't have that problem anymore. I'm sure it'll get fixed eventually, but the customer is still happy overall with everything else that we fixed. And he is ecstatic that his whole machine works again instead of just some of the functions and not having 500 faults on the screen. So that's the important thing. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hope you have a safe day.